whenever you get an opportunity to do what you love, you need to count your blessings. Um, and in that sense, it is a massive privilege to do what I'm doing. I feel like I've been painting pretty much as long as I can remember myself. I've always was doodling or walking around the city with a pad and a pencil. And I guess the first serious lessons in art I got around the age of 12. Um, and, that, and that's probably the fondest memory of art education that I have. It was in Moscow and um, I was taking classes in a beautiful mansion, very old in the, in the center. Um, for those who know, it's uh, near the Arbat Street um, from a wonderful artist, um, Maria Burganova. Uh, her husband is a sculptor, so the whole place was filled with creativity. Um, there was splotches of paint on the floor, there were his works all around the place and the garden outside. Um, lots of beautiful and quirky objets that was always arranged for the still life exercises. Um, but mostly it was the, the spirit and I think it's very much because of who she is as a person, um, that she managed to create a really beautiful, friendly environment to nurture the um, creativity in people. It is a meditation. Um, more often than not, you get into a flow. So, um, you start by just doing the work and then eventually you lose yourself in the process and this is when magic happens. Because very often you need to switch off um, a part of your brain, not to overthink what you're doing and let the subconscious take over and let your hands be free to do the work because they kind of know better. if you like you're tapping into the big universal subconscious and um, it makes me feel happy because not making art makes me feel the opposite it's like you feel that you have become overwhelmed with some kind of creative energy that needs an output and if it doesn't find an output you really feel blocked I don't know like you're suffocating a little bit on an emotional level. <laughs> Happiness. So it's a very selfish um, feeling, really, um, because I do not feel good if I don't create art. Um, I feel like it was never really a choice, you know, when you decided to become an artist. I don't think it is a choice. You don't decide to become an artist. You can decide to um, make art your career, but you can't decide to be an artist. It's either in you or it's not in you. And if it is in you, if you don't let it out, you really suffer. <laughs> <laughs>